you have arrived welcome to my youtube channel please like and subscribe hit that notification bell for future uploads Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube page and for the subscribers that keep staying committed. Thank you so much. I know it has been quite some time that I've actually like posted and I'll give you a reason why later as we go through the vlog. So this is just going to be, um, as you can see in the description below, it's going to be a get ready with me because i'm going to be on night shift so i'm going to take you guys throughout my day and show you what i'm going to do so i unplanted my hair yesterday and i'm just trying to you know work through it and then i'm going to wash it and then i'm going to blow dry it or stretch it because i have to go to work looking like the queen i am you know so i'll be going in right now with this organic shampoo this is what i use and this shampoo really does the things So already the shrinkage has begun. My hair was an afro, now look at it. It's short. It's lunchtime now, so my plan is to make a stir fry along with some pasta. I am chopping a few onions and some peppers here. You know, we have to be adults in this day and age and practice the mantra, there's food at home so we don't overspend. I'm just making something for lunch and I'm also making something for my night shift. I decided to have some tea afterwards and read a book. The book that I'm currently reading is 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos by Jordan B. Peterson. It's a really interesting read but I'm still really really early on in the book and i'll let you guys know how the book is like once i've finished it does he know even, even the fans even my even yo you know where the danger is you know where the danger is is in our so guys i'm ready for my shift and yeah i remember the beginning of the vlog i told you guys i'd give you guys a reason why I haven't been online for such a long time and being consistent with my YouTube channel. Life has gotten into the way and you know, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Most times I come back from work and I'm like super exhausted and already when I'm super exhausted, I can't even be in my creative mind to think of something new, something different. For you guys to see i've just been you know what can i say going through that process going through that process but i actually low-key felt bad because i could see subscribers were coming in and they'll be like oh this girl is not consistent so i thought to myself i just you know be honest with you like i am struggling you know to find the time to prioritize my youtube channel and give you guys the content but also at the same time you know putting my my myself first and taking care of myself my mental health my physical well-being i feel like i've also low-key gotten into 
that small box i was in before i actually started my youtube channel which was fear maybe i'm just overthinking things but you know it really got to me like how are people going to react to let's say i put this across how are they going to take it and you know i've just been over analyzing and you know beating myself up for nothing and my youtube channel is still very new so you know i hear from other youtubers when you begin you're not going to be perfect and you know you should enjoy the journey and the journey is a long one there's no need to start up fast the whole point is to improve with every video that comes out and yeah guys i'm gonna try be consistent even if that means posting once a month or twice a month you know i i have to start somewhere i have to trust myself that i am capable of achieving great things and that it's all in the mind i just need to change my mindset and i just need to trust god and put in the work and you know god will do the rest so that's where i've been you know i've been you know tired and also i didn't want to put like half-hearted content out there i wanted to put content out there that i'm proud of and that you guys can see my heart i didn't want to put something false outside so yes thank you guys so much for being patient with me and yeah this is my night shift and it's currently oopsies <laughs> it's currently quarter to six and yes this is me guys this is me guys i have to let you guys know um i don't think i'm gonna vlog in the hospital for hipaa laws and what have you i'll let you guys know tomorrow morning how the shift went by i just really pray to god that like you know everything's gonna be fine because you know it's like a long weekend and you know i have this tendency of attracting traffic but i'm also looking at it that god is sending the traffic to me because he trusts me with his people so yes yeah i hope i have a great night and that i don't have any many patience but it's okay i'm really happy with my allocation for tonight i'm in ct scan yeah i'm really really excited see you guys tomorrow morning i'll let you guys know what actually happened that is a nice filter oh please open nice ship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. hi everyone this is me post night shift Woo i actually made it throughout the night and it was not that bad it was not so busy I actually had such a great time and surprisingly i don't feel that exhausted but i know the sleep is gonna creep up on me i think one of the nicest things about this shift is that i got to work with such a strong team of radiographers and you know i feel like a wavelength in terms of personalities really really blended and yeah we got along just right so on top of you having students who work well you also paired with people you get along with so that was really really nice i had a great time you know if i was doing night shift again tonight i wouldn't mind going but i mean i had to go there for my ot but yes i really really enjoyed the time and yeah